everyone my name is Ryan and welcome to my channel today we're gonna go over motorcycle hand signals you can use these in a group ride setting is where they're typically used but you can also use them solo riding to alert the cars behind you in a group ride setting the idea is for the first person whether it's the road captain or the group ride leader to make the hand signal if you were turning left can't see my arm but I'm pointing straight out which is the left hand turn signal but we'll get to all that in a second is for everyone all the way back safely when it allows to perform the hand signal that the first rider has performed letting each rider know all the way back including using your turn signals okay like I said we we're gonna start with the left hand turn signal the left hand turn signal is taking your left arm and pointing it straight out with your palm facing down like so now we're going to move on to the right hand turn signal when making a right-handed turn signal bend your elbow 90 degrees make a fist and you point your fist toward the sky this is a right hand turn signal now the stop signal is very similar to the right hand turn signal what you'll do is you'll take your arm at 90 degrees you'll point it down but this time you open your hand like so and that signals to the riders behind you that you are stopping arm 90 degrees hand facing down palm facing the riders behind you now sometimes when you're riding in a group setting and you guys slow down or if you just came from a stop you'll want everybody to speed up just a little bit so you'll take your left arm you'll extend it out you'll move it in an upward motion with your palm facing up with this motion it lets the riders know behind you that everyone needs to speed up so you can move it fast just like this right here now if you're wanting everyone to slow down you'll take your hand similar to a left hand turn signal not all the way straight out but just kind of at an angle pointing down like this and you'll move it up and down palm facing down you'll move it just like this and to me sometimes when i'm riding i'll take it and i'll move it slowly if i'm if i know that i want people to slow down a little faster i'll start moving a little bit more faster that way the people behind me know hey my the rider in front of me is serious you guys need to slow down quick you know if you start doing like that but typically if you're just slowing down you just move it up and down in this fashion just like this palm facing down now if you're in a situation in a group ride where you need people to follow you for some reason let's say that the 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 ride leader needs to exit the ride and you need everyone to follow you what you'll do is you'll take your left hand palm facing forward you'll put it in the sky just like this you'll raise it up palm extended forward this means everyone follow me and you can even kind of just do like this if you need to just so everybody can see it because there's a few things that are similar to this but we'll get to that in a minute but this means follow me right here also if you're in the ride and you want someone else to be the leader of that ride and become the leader of that ride what you can do is you can pull alongside of that person make sure you kind of you know what depending on what type of helmet you're wearing you might want to make eye contact with them and then you point to that rider and then you move your hand directly in front of you just like so and you're saying you lead the ride you lead the ride and you do it repeatedly until they give you the nod and they understand and then let them start to move in the position to lead the ride so one of my favorites is let's say you're on a group ride and you guys are riding staggered position staggered position will look like this single file looks like this so if you're riding staggered position and you need everyone in the group ride let's say that you're going into a narrow street where there's a construction zone and you want everyone to get into a single file line what you'll do is you'll take your left hand you'll point one finger in the sky 
and you'll hold it up like this right here and you'll kind of you can wave it just to let people know hey this is just one finger single file line and then everyone behind you bike by bike should remove themselves from staggered formation and go into a single file line one finger in the air pointing it you can wag it you can shake it like this when you want to go when you are in your single file line and you would like to go back to your stagger formation or your double file there's two ways to do that number one you just like before you raise your hand up you can put two fingers this way or there are some groups that do two fingers this way because it's easier to see the separation in the fingers like i said your normal two fingers up or two fingers like this and that means and you can twist 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 that means get back in double file line so an interesting one to me is if you need a refreshment stop if you if you're thirsty you're overheated you can take your arm put it in this 90 degree angle your left arm stick your thumb out keep your eyes focused on the road ahead of you you can slightly turn your helmet but still looking with your eyes ahead of you on the road so you don't hit anyone or hit anything take your finger your thumb and you point it towards your mouth that means hey guys i'm thirsty i didn't pay attention earlier and get me something to drink or i didn't drink enough last night before i went on the ride <laughs> and i need to stop the entire group and get a ride get a drink <laughs> so let's say that you look back in your group ride in your side view mirror and you notice the guy behind you has his blinker on you can stick your arm out like a left hand turn signal open your hand all the way up close it open your hand all the way up close it and do it rapidly and let him know tick tock tick tock your blinker is on my friend and that will let them know to turn off their turn signal okay so let's talk about a comfort stop it's a stop where let's just say you got to go to the bathroom or um, something happens where maybe you just really need to get off the bike and stretch or something what you could do is you can stick your arm out to the left almost like you're going to make a left turn the difference is that you have a closed fist you take it and you start pumping the hand up and down like you're pumping up a tire or you've got something in your hand and you're shaking it so you could do that uh, now remember the difference between this and slow down is slow down is at an angle down here and your hand is open your palm is facing down the comfort stop is fist is closed and it's kind of shorter up and down motions let's talk about everyone's favorite let's just say that there is an officer of the law ahead and someone coming towards you in a vehicle flashes their headlights on and off well you know what that means so what you can do at that point is you can take your arm put it out higher than 90 degrees basically where your elbow is pointing straight out palm hand open palm facing down and start tapping the top of your head you can tap it fast you can tap it slow typically if you tap it fast people behind you realize there's a sense of urgency and they'll pay attention say you're riding a sportster <laughs> not necessarily just a sportster okay <laughs> all right all jokes <laughs> all jokes aside here we go say that you are on e and you forgot to fuel your tank or you're riding a sportster what you can do at that point is you take your arm and you point it towards your gas tank so you take your left hand you take your index finger your pointer finger and you point it towards your gas tank just like this you can move it in and out like that you can do just like this which lets somebody know hey i need fuel i forgot to fill up before the ride or i am riding a sportster <laughs> i'm just kidding all you people with sportsters calm down i'm joking all right so some of my favorites are if and this is kind of how i'll do it too you can use either your left hand your left foot or your right foot 
So if you're riding down the road, there's gravel in the road, you can point your foot out like this right here and say, hey, there's gravel in the road and let someone look if it's on the left side or you can point your foot out on the right side. Let's just say there's gravel all over the road on both sides. You're riding, you can point both feet out just like that, okay? Now, if there is a pothole or an object in the road, one of two things, you can point your hand out like this and you can point at it. Me, when I want someone to notice it, I point kind of rapidly. Even if it's on the right side, I may take my right hand off the throttle and point like this right here. I'll do that, point like this right here or point like this right here if there is a pothole or something that I think, like for instance, the other day I'm riding and there's a bolt in the road. Well, I start pointing at that bolt pretty rapidly because I don't want someone to hit it with their tire. That could cause some serious damage. Well, everyone, hopefully this right here will give you an idea to better understand some hand signals that I feel like are necessary hand signals when you are riding with a group or you're riding by yourself because in my mind, something that is outside of the norm where if you are hitting your blinker and then you're also pointing because i'll do some of this stuff while i'm riding solo where you're also pointing the people behind you are used to a patterns in traffic everyday patterns in traffic and everyday pattern in traffic is sometimes blinkers uh, you might want to not want to believe that but <laughs> It is, people get accustomed to the things going on around them. So something a little bit different, hit a blinker and then you're throwing your arm out or you're doing like this to say, hey, I'm stopping or, or hey, I'm slowing down. You know, even if they don't understand motorcycle hand signals, someone in a car might understand, hey, I'm slowing down, you know. And, and they kind of go, what, what's that guy doing? I better slow down. It just makes, it triggers something in their mind for them to see you and anything extra I believe counts and it's a great thing. If you're new to my channel, again, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you stopping by today's video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And OMG Nation, keep it old school. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, this is recorded, by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.